what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Remember the case of the Baltimore detective that was killed on November 15th? I covered the story where I talked about how low down and dirty they are when a black person is killed, but how they somehow become grief stricken and compassionate when an officer is killed and they go all out, they use all of their resources to somehow track down the killer. Now, they went door to door with dozens of police officers it could have been a few hundred of them and they were passing out flyers they were knocking on doors asking for information harassing the people who lived in the community where the cop got killed they had tanks rolling down the streets they had their bulletproof vests on and boy they had their game faces on talking about how we got to stop these murders and come, we got to find the killer. They gave up a $215,000 reward. $215,000 they offered for the killer. Turns out this detective was killed with his own gun. But bigger than that, the detective was set to testify against other officers the very next day. And he ended up dead. Commissioner Kevin Davis said Detective Sean Davis was set to offer grand jury testimony about an incident involving officers who were indicted back in March. He ends up dead. Davis stressed that as the search for suitors killers continue, there are currently no evidence that the slain was linked to any upcoming testimony or any conspiracy. <laughs> and my name is the damn Easter Bunny. Come on, man, who y'all fooling? The commissioner went on to say this. While I understand the wild possibilities that go through people's minds when we all want answers, I'm determined to keep following the evidence. There's nothing we won't consider. There's no path we won't go down if the evidence takes us down that path. Well, the path is straight down the halls through the police department. Just look around. If you don't find the killer, you at least find the co-conspirators. You can start with the police commissioner. Now, if there's such thing as an afterlife, I'm sure that the detective can hear my voice. So, Sean, I want to ask you a question. You still believe in that police department? You still believe that the police will protect you because you're one of them? That's how it go. See, old Sean, he broke the blue wall of science. And he took them out. It's as simple as that. Don't ever think that the killer will be caught. If they caught a catch a killer, if they identify somebody as the killer, that person will be a patsy. That person will not be the actual killer. In, in fact, I'll take it one further. The killer may already be dead. These people ain't playing no games, man. They dirty. They're corrupt. All of them, all throughout the United States, all of the police departments, they're corrupt. How else do you explain all of this criminal activity that's going on within the police departments? These are not isolated incidents. This is a culture. This is how they rock. Dude broke the blue wall of silence. And then the Commissioner had the nerve to say, there's no evidence of a conspiracy. <laughs> well, I tell you, a pair of lips to say anything. 
For all you people who sit around and wait on the news to tell you what's going on and you believe everything you hear on the news, every time a cop gets on the stand, you believe the cop just because you see a uniform and a badge. Every time you hear a police spokesperson says, the suspect did this and then the suspect and, and then this happened and then the officer did this and the officer was forced to use deadly force. This is for y'all. You cannot fix the problems of crime when the person who is in charge, the people who is in charge of fixing the problem of crime is in fact the criminals themselves. All they do is commit crimes and go harder on the other people that commit crimes or they invent crimes. This is not something I'm making up. This is evidence that has been presented and documented by other officers. They've said this happens. They said sometimes we, we don't see anything. We don't see a crime happening. So we make up a crime. We see a dude walking down the street and we just start harassing him till, you know, he, you know, starts to, uh, uh, move around a certain way or whatever, and then we'll say, that's, oh, resisting arrest. Bam, we got him. We start harassing somebody, and of course, you know, if you're messing with somebody and they know they haven't done anything wrong, they get upset about it. Oh, resisting arrest. Police officer uh, back up into his own car, some kind of way, uh, stumble or anything while he's trying to make an arrest against you. Even if you're not resisting, they'll hit you with an assault on a police officer. And then you know that they plant drugs. We know this because we've seen it happen on many occasions. We've seen cops plant drugs. If you haven't, you've been living in a bubble. Research, Google, Police plant drugs and watch how many cases of police planting drugs pop up. Those are just the cases that are on video. We're not talking about the ones that haven't been seen. We're not talking about all of those cases. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of people, man, that's sitting in jail, that's on probation, that's had to cop out for time because the system is totally rigged to convict people even if they haven't committed a crime. If you walk in there and you got the whole state against you, that's what on your paperwork, it says the state of wherever you are, state of Texas versus Jane Doe, John Doe, Willie Dennis. The whole, that, do you understand what that means? That's the whole state against you. That means the state versus that means the state has all of the resources. They got the resources for witnesses. They got the, the resources for uh, investigators, detectives, on and on and on and on. They got all the resources they need. And you, no matter what your financial status, got to go out there and find you a lawyer to represent you. And if you don't have the money, you have to use their lawyers to represent you. <laughs> their lawyers. Do you know how insane that is? The court-appointed lawyer worked for the same people who employs the prosecutor and the judge and the cops and the bailiffs and the COs. It's, this is ridiculous. But this is the system that we live in. You got the criminals in charge of crime. This makes absolutely no sense. But because it's in their favor and it's rigged, they play the game. All y'all who get excited when they, as soon as they come on TV and say, well, we need more officers, we need more cops. They always need more cops. They always need more officers. However, Crime just continues to do this, and sometimes it does this, it levels off a little, it goes down a little bit, and then it does that, it fluctuates. But it's always there. And they always need more, more money. They need more money.
That's what it's about. So when you see a crime happens, somebody go in and they use an assault rifle, kill 10 people, they're going to take that case and use that as a excuse <clears throat> to hire more cops, get more armored tanks into the city, more guns, while at the same time they tell us that we need to get rid of our guns, they're constantly getting more guns. It's a joke, man. It's a joke. It's a hoax. That's all it is. And if you're falling for it, go ahead and look in the mirror and say, fool, fool, fool. This dude was murdered. He got a taste of his own medicine. I know that's harsh for some of y'all, but that's the truth. You have to look at it like they look at it when they're dealing with us. They have no compassion. They don't care. When's the last time you seen a police officer cry for an innocent civilian who was murdered by another police officer? It don't happen. When's the last time you, you seen a, a police officer who has his job, who's currently employed, speak out against the culture of violence, against the citizens of the United States perpetrated by the police departments all over the United States? It doesn't happen. If it does, it's so rare that you got to go dig up the information, you got to go out there and do some research to find somebody who's actually speaking out. Blue lives matter, man. Yes, blue lives do matter. Unless you take the oath to serve and protect and really do believe that you can serve and protect and step out and speak out against bad cops. Try that shit and you'll get killed. Ask Sean. No more talk. What, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. Order,